Harlow was a magnet for bad publicity. As if it weren't enough that Harlow's second husband was found naked and dead of a gunshot wound, she had plenty of other bad publicity at the time. Right after Byrne died, Harlow had an affair with boxer Max Fair. Unfortunately, he was still married. Harlow also sidled up to mobsters when they came to Hollywood, namely Bubsy Siegel. Harlow ended up becoming close enough to Siegel that she was an unofficial godmother to his daughter Millicent. One of her husbands was found dead in their home. In 1932, Harlow wed Paul Byrne, a Metro Goldwyn mayor executive. A few months into their marriage, Byrne was found fatally shot inside their home. Rumors swirled that Harlow had killed her new husband, while others thought Burns' spurned ex-common-law wife was the one responsible. Further, some say that Byrne was a polygamist, and others claim he wasn't interested in women. Regardless, Louis B. Mayer later said he found a suicide note in the home. As was the custom in the day, Burns' butler didn't call police when he found Burns' body. Instead, he called the studio, which came and cleaned up. Harlow never spoke about Burke's death. The tragedy and subsequent scandal led MGM to ask actress Talula Bankhead to replace Harlow in a film. Bankhead refused, saying to damn the radiant gene for the misfortune of another would be one of the shabbiest acts of all time. I told Mr. Mayor as much. Harlow had a rough history with her mother, who some blame for her death. Harlow's relationship with her mother was reportedly difficult. Mama Jean, as she was known, was a failed actor who seemingly put all her ambition and lost dreams on her daughter. In fact, Baby Jean, as everyone called Harlow, only ended up in Hollywood after her parents divorced and her mother brought her there to become a star. But it wasn't meant to be Baby Jean took center stage, and Mama Jean stayed extremely involved in her daughter's life and career. Some claim Mama Jean was at least somewhat responsible for her daughter's death. Mama Jean was a Christian scientist, and some reports say she took her sick daughter home and refused medical treatment for her. Writing for The Guardian, Christian scientist Tony Lovell explained that doctors did, in fact, see Harlow. He added that, while Christian scientists do believe in natural healing, that doesn't mean neglecting Western medicine when it's needed. Regardless of the truth, there was nothing that Western medicine could have done to save Harlow's life. Harlow had several medical conditions before she began bleaching her hair. Though the chemical byproducts created by Harlow's bleach and ammonia mixture weren't great for her, she'd experienced a litany of health problems going back years. She experienced the flu, a bad reaction to having wisdom teeth removed, and a severe sunburn which we now know is one of the signs of kidney failure. She also suffered from scarlet fever, polio, and meningitis, and had two abortions and an appendectomy during her rather short life. Rumors swirled about Harlow's death. Rumors spread almost immediately after Harlow fell ill and passed away. Did she die of an abortion gone wrong? Was her binge drinking out of control? Were her mother's Christian scientist beliefs somehow to blame? Some thought she had sunstroke, while another rumor claimed that Paul Byrne, her second husband, had beaten her. Harlow officially died of kidney failure. When Harlow fell ill on May 20, 1937, no one thought that the 26-year-old was on her deathbed. She passed away shortly afterward, however, on June 7. Her symptoms began as fatigue, nausea, 
abdominal pain, water retention, and grain skin. She also had trouble breathing on set and started wearing wigs since her iconic locks were falling out. Though kidney failure in the modern world isn't a death sentence, it was in 1937. There were no kidney transplants or dialysis machines, and there weren't even antibiotics available for Harlow's condition. Clark Gable said kissing Harlow was like kissing a rotting corpse. Clark Gable said kissing Harlow was like kissing a rotting corpse. Harlow's hair bleaching process was very toxic. Harlow's hair bleaching process was very toxic. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.